Hey, what's happening? How you guys doing? What you sipping on today? Today I'm finishing my red juice, beet juice, from uh, clean juice. So that's what I'm sipping on. So I'm gonna finish my last little swig before we get started. See if somebody comes on. All right, so what am I talking about today? Today, we are chatting about fructans, not fructose, fructan. And a lot of people talk to me about their issues with their digestive system, knowing especially the things that I've gone through. And um, they're like, I've taken gluten out, I've done this, I've done that, and nothing seems to be working. So I know for a fact that um, there are many contributing factors to your digestive health. And all of us are biochemically unique. We have bioindividuality, all of that kind of good stuff. So if you are suffering with gas and bloating and diarrhea and things like that, you might have an issue with fructan. So let's talk about what fructan is. Basically, it is a type of polymer of fructose molecule found in certain fruits. Um, and so those kinds of things are like onions, artichokes, garlic, stuff like that. So it's a tricky carb. We don't have the digestive enzyme to actually break it down. So that's one of the biggest things that people don't realize is that you don't even have it. It's going to have to ferment in your gut. And that's one of the biggest things that actually can cause the distress of your digestive system. So I tell people, you know, you want to make sure that if you are that you take a look at some of these things like onions and garlic. I know it's hard because of everybody seasons stuff with onions and garlic and stuff like that. But it's huge to understand. Um, but once again, like I said, they're not digested. And the biggest thing you want to understand is that there are benefits to eating fructans. It protects you from heart disease. It also helps with weight, weight loss, gut health, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so there are many, many benefits if your body can actually digest them. So, and it's, and it's also beneficial for your gut flora or developing that um, part of your gut flora that's gonna help with digestion. But people don't understand, it's not sexy. I probably won't have a lot of people signing on to understand what fructans are. Hey, Aunt Tama, hey, Susan, good to see you guys. So they're not gonna say, oh, let me figure this out because it's not sexy. I'm not telling you you can lose weight or do this, but if you really are dealing with digestive issues and you've taken gluten out, um, a lot of times you don't realize it because gluten is like, of course, we have wheat and their grains and things like that. But this is found in a vegetable and it's different than fructose because fructose is in actually fruits, um, agave, nectar, honey, things like that. Right. But this is fructin, which is in the actual vegetables themselves and some grains as well. And so it's hidden because you can have onion powder in something. You can have garlic in something. And it's very difficult to get away from that in natural and in processed foods. So that's why um, I want to bring it to your attention. One of the things which I talked about a few weeks ago with digestive health was um, the information on the food mop diet, right? Or the FODMAP diet. So it's spelled F-O-D-M-A-P. And that's one of those diets that can help with, oh, I'll tell you, I'm glad you need the information that I'm telling you. So the food, the FODMAP diet is one that can help people to eliminate some of those things like gluten and also fructans from their diet so that they can see whether or not that helps with the digestive distress and the bloating and the gas and discomfort um, of that. So things to avoid, I'm going to post an article on my page, Do All Things With Joy, and you guys will be able to um, take a look at that and like study it in more detail. I'm not going to go over all of the foods that you know could, could potentially fall into that, but I'm going to give you a few in the categories just so you can kind of think about, ooh, how much do I consume these foods? So within breads, wheat, okay, and spelt, things like that. Um, also rye. Uh, in veggies, garlic, onion, Brussels sprouts, um, what else? Uh, artichokes, things like that. But there's more. The, the list is this is not an exhaustive. So you have things like grapefruit and watermelon. Um, I think even peaches fall into that category. With nuts, almonds, cashews, 
pistachios. Those are all ones that I love. Um, and a lot of people do and they eat them and they have no idea that they don't have the enzymes to break those foods down. So then, of course, you've got this like mass of food that is creating gas and bloating because it's not being digested properly in the gut. Um, beans, you'd have lentils and chickpeas. And how many people eat like lentil soup or hummus and things like that? And they, they think, oh, it's great. It's a vegetarian or a vegan way in which I'm getting my protein sources. But if you don't have that enzyme and it affects your body, you will have that gas and bloating. Um, the other thing, chamomile tea can can set this off. So like how many people say, oh, let me, let me settle down in the evening with a glass of chamomile tea or a mug of chamomile tea. Once again, it can be causing issues. You wake up and you're like, why am I so bloated after that um, cup of tea? And then instant coffee. So those are, like I said, a few things. This is not one of those sexy videos, all that kind of stuff, but it is one way in which you guys can see that there is not just about gluten, okay? I'm gonna be doing a course pretty soon on gut health and helping people really understand their digestive system so that, you know, like, like I said, I went from having C. diff and a destroyed digestive system to having an extremely normal digestive system and I wanna help walk people through that. Um, so I'm working on kind of researching and getting everything together for you guys, but bringing you little bits and tips and tricks and information um, forward for that. So if you have any questions, you know you can always reach out to me. Remember, like I said, share the joy because you don't know, if you're in distress, like you're like I was years ago, um, just a little piece of information, something like this that someone shared that I'm like, I tried gluten free, I've tried dairy free, I've tried no soy, I've tried all of this, but they had no idea that maybe it's a fructin. Maybe their body does not process it properly. And if they were to take some of these things out or be more mindful of it, or at least reduce it drastically, that they could have a better quality of life. So remember to share the joy, do all things with joy. I will post an article on my um, business page, which is do all things with joy on Facebook. And until next week, you guys remember to be blessed. And once again, do all things with joy. All right, peace.